Hey Taurus, what's up, ball gang? I hope you all are doing amazing. I hope you are enjoying your day. Let's go ahead and get some cards for you, whatever you need to hear. Here, what are the messages for Taurus? We have the dawn of transformation. Today I am reborn. This is the dawn of my transformation. So you're going through a major transformation. <clears throat> okay, let's get two more. Two more cards, spirit for Taurus. So we have the Phoenix Feather. I am reborn through the fire. What was going on with you being reborn and transformed here? <laughs> no matter my history or circumstances, I rise above. I soar with strength and determination. When faced with adversity, I overcome. I am the beauty rising from the ashes. So you are the phoenix rising from the ashes here. I'm getting the chariot with that. I feel like some of you definitely have been through the ringer. That's what I mean. You've been through the ringer. Okay, let's get one more. Actually, I want a purple card. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pull a purple card. We have work balance. Okay. I am more than my job. My work is important and provides a sense of purpose, but I must create a boundary. I will earn I will earn I will honor my mental and physical health first. I work to live, I do not live to work. So more work, home life balance. Because y'all know we are definitely workaholics we would definitely work ourselves to the bone that's why i hate yes we would say yes i hate the notion that we are lazy we're not lazy we're just creatures of comfort there's a difference okay so more work home life balance i love that and then we have the spring of beauty my world is a spring of beauty i nourish my spirit with music art and creativity that inspires me i live a life of inspiration so some of you could definitely be people who um are creatives we keep talking about that um, the art energy keeps coming out, painter, things like that keeps coming out. Or some of you use music, art, or creativity. It feels like maybe even just to get you through rough times, you could really depend on that outlet to get you through when you're going through a lot of changes here. But you're definitely coming out of a dark period because you are the phoenix rising from the ashes. I love it. Like I said, I get the chariot with that. So that's overcoming your obstacles, being very determined, focused on something. Could be maybe even traveling a lot more. You could be coming out of your comfort zone. Let's see what you're transforming into <laughs> or out of. What's this transformation? I like this saying, sometimes people think they're being buried when they're really being planted. And I kind of feel like that's your message towards. You've been planted. So we have the page of swords with the four of cups in reverse. I love it. So some of you... It's like this has been a long time coming. The Page of Swords is a green light to go. It means stop waiting. So for some of you, there's this energy of you being curious about something and going after it and coming out of this stagnant energy. Some of you are ready to love again. Some of you are just ready to live again, okay? And you could have your sight set on something. You're curious about something. You could be learning something new. I just want to tell you, just as a sidebar, for some of you, there could be long-delayed communication coming in from someone who rejected you. Maybe a Libra, Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Cancer person. Maybe you haven't talked in four months. What is this transformation? The Ten of Swords, a painful ending. Gemini energy. You could be on a Taurus Gemini cusp. What is this? The hangman. Yeah, it feels like something has been in limbo. Like somebody just kind of maybe cut you off cold turkey. I definitely feel communication, long-awaited communication coming in. This could be tr somebody telling you that they've changed. I don't like this Ten of Swords, though. I want to know why you're in the Ten of Swords. That talks about being betrayed, backstabbed. Somebody just leaving you for dead. I don't like it. So what is it? The sun. They tried to flip in reverse, but it kind of landed a little weird here. So this could be somebody wanting to express some kind of truth to you. Hmm. Could be a Leo. What's the sign? Something is being illuminated here. Somebody could have a new perspective on you that you haven't been talking to. Yeah, they could be saying that they're changing. I don't know, y'all. The Hierophant? Taurus energy. Oh. So some of you, this is your spouse, your husband, your wife. Someone that you have a high level of commitment with if you're not married to, because this is the institution of marriage. Or for some of you, somebody is starting to see you in this light. I think I, I titled your video that last night, 444 on the timer. Yeah, that's about stabilizing. So somebody could be seeing you in a new light here and wants to stabilize a relationship with you. Interesting. Huh. 
So someone is seeing clearly. Could be another Taurus. Give me a little bit more on that. Yeah, somebody wants to talk to you. And they want to tell you the truth about something. Aquarius energy, the King of Swords. What do they want to talk about? Why am I getting like they want to be back in a relationship with you? So they're trying to say that they have changed. Yeah, they want a reconciliation. Could be a cancer. They could be wanting to tell you the truth about a third party. I'm going to give one more, maybe two more. This is someone wanting to talk about even maybe why they kept things casual with you. Because I see this as like a casual thing or why they friend zoned you because it could be friend zoning too. What is this? What's the three of cups? Somebody that enjoyed their time with you but didn't take you seriously. I think we talked about that yesterday. And now they're transforming. Yeah, now they want to offer you something stable. Ace of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Energy. Could be another Earth sign. Or this is somebody that wants to take you more serious now. Hmm. Some of you could also have a new job, new car, new home, or your health could be improving. This is a card of well-being, money manifesting. It's a very happy card, but it talks about building on a solid ground. For some of you, this is somebody that only kept things casual with you, or even if you were married to them or whatever, they didn't honor their vows. Let's see what this phoenix feather is. You are reborn through the fire. So some of you have really been through a lot here. You've overcome adversity. Yeah, the seven of wands. You have stood your ground. You have learned to create stronger boundaries and stand your ground with people. Leo energy. The four of swords. You have learned to listen to your body and get rest when it says to do so. No longer fighting that energy of, again, listening to your body. Being able to just kind of chill and relax. Catching your breath and avoiding drama. Some of you may, may I don't know, maybe recently you've been feeling overwhelmed. You're getting your strength back. Somebody could just be coming out of the hospital here. Or who have been sick recently. What's going on with this seven of wands? Definitely talks about feeling like the underdog in a situation. But having the courage of your convictions. For some of you, you've just been ignoring somebody. And it's been hard, but you've been doing it anyway. Because you knew you had to. And this is why they're trying to come back. What's the seven of wands? It also talks about being defensive and protecting yourself. Yeah, so then you get another defensive card. It's, it, okay, so there's Sagittarius and Aquarius energy here. So I'm seeing communication. For some of you, I feel like this was you trying to really be there for someone. Maybe somebody ghosting you, not answering your calls, not responding to your text messages, or being really short with you. It's funny, I was going through my cards last night, and I came across this card that talked about somebody like, you know, they get your text messages and they give you those one word replies, or they take a long time to text back. And this will be the kind of person that you know always has their phone. And you're like, why is it that when I reach out to you or I respond to you, you take forever to, to respond back to me? Because you know they always have their phone. I mean, in this day and age, everybody always got their phone around them. Six of swords. So you have your spirit guys showing up here. They have been telling you to take your rest. Some of you are fighting tooth and nail for a relationship. I feel like communication could be or have been blocked between you and someone. And it's starting not to bother you anymore. If they blocked you, you're like, okay, well, whatever. <laughs> it could have been abrupt too. It definitely could have been abrupt. And this might be something that really hurt you, but... Let's see what happened. It says, yeah, the Ten of Wands. So you keep pulling the Ten of Wands. But this is what you're moving away from. You're leaving a trauma bond or you have left a trauma bond. I feel like they might be resurfacing though, y'all. I feel like they might be resurfacing. Yeah, Chariot. And that's exactly what I just said this is with the Death card. So it's like you're trying to move forward. You're trying to transform. You got the same energy here of transformation and the Phoenix energy of moving forward. Something has ended for you. I think you're done with it. Ten of Cups and the Justice card could be a marriage, but look, look what you get every single time. For some of you, you were married to a devil. The devil comes out again. A Capricorn, a Libra, or a Pisces person. What is okay, Spirit? Show me what this is. What's the devil? Why does the devil keep coming out for Taurus? The strength card. Yeah, you can resist them now. They used to be irresistible, not so anymore. It's not so um, hard to resist this person anymore. You can have Leo in your chart. Yep, five of swords. You feel like they are stupid. <laughs> you feel like they're foolish. You feel like they are 
cutthroat and petty. You feel like they were giving you the silent treatment. And some of you got tired of that. I feel like this person goes to you, gave you the silent treatment. And the crazy thing is they never really wanted to stop talking to you. And it was driving them crazy the whole time. But now they're getting karma. Some of you have a Ten of Cups coming towards you. Yeah, Six of Wands, the Fool. Somebody is coming to sweep you off of your feet. This is going to be an offer you can't refuse. It could be an Aquarius person. And I feel like a lot of you have a lot of Leo in your chart. Especially Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising Placement. Even North Node, you can have Leo placements in those positions. Yeah, the Towers here, the Ace of Swords. Okay, so that's some kind of breakthrough. What's going on here with your work balance? We have the Five of Pentacles. So some of you are getting rid of this, this poverty consciousness, this lack mentality of feeling like if you don't work yourself to the bone, you're going to be in the poor house. No, you won't. Taurus, that's your energy. What's the Five of Pentacles? <clears throat> you have a Nine of Pentacles, working yourself to the bone. Some of you are definitely workaholics here. What's going on with y'all? Why are y'all working yourselves so hard? There's a lot of... Um, some of, some of you, your Taurus placement is, um, you have a Taurus Mercury. It's so crazy. Taurus Mercury. Hmm. I'm not going to get it. I'm not going to go off on a tangent. Okay, so we have Virgo energy and Taurus energy here. I see some of you definitely work hard. You definitely put yourself in a position of perfectionism at times. You feel like if it's not done to perfection, scrap it and start all over. I think we talked about this the other day. So spirit wants you to be a little more realistic when it comes to your approach to your work. It's okay to want to do your best, but some of you slow yourselves down by trying to be perfect. So we have the Ace of Wands and the Five of Cups. Somebody's love life could have suffered here as a result of them working so much. That could be you. That could be the person you were connected to. Maybe somebody left you out in the cold and was moving really slowly because they prioritized work over you. A Virgo, a Taurus, a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, or a Scorpio person for some of you. Or they could just have those placements. It feels like somebody's inspiration or passion for something, whether it be a relationship or whatever, has suffered. There's some grief here. Somebody is longing for more passion in their life or whatever it might be because all of this focus has been put on work. So if you're the workaholic, that's your energy. If not, it's someone you were dealing with. So let's get two more. Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> You know that you're, some of you are going from rags to riches. It feels like some of you have this pressure on you to either maintain or create this legacy, build this empire. You put it on yourself, somebody else put it on you or whatever. But it's like you want this wealth. You want this stability, this firm foundation. Who doesn't, right? I feel like you will create a legacy. Some of you also got this poverty consciousness through your uh, bloodline. I consider this something running in, in your family, an inherent belief or something that you inherit from your um ancestors okay whether distant or, or relatively recent relatives this is something that's in your bloodline but for some of you you have to realize your birthright is to actually be successful you don't have to stress about it what's the ten of pentacles yeah king of cups don't stress about it all as well this is to stay calm and it also talks about emotional maturity and stability. So some of you spirit is just kind of saying here, like, don't stress about this. Your money is there, it's going to be there. You don't have to neglect other areas of your life. Or this is your person. For some of y'all, you have this king of cups coming towards you. You might be meeting a new partner. Could be a Scorpio. They could be wealthy too. So the spring of beauty is um, talking about creativity and music and art with the will of fortune. Okay. Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus, Sagittarius, and Capricorn energy here with the world. So success is guaranteed here. The universe is stepping in. You have good uh, karma on your side. This is the will turning in your favor. Absolutely, God is on your side. The universe is on your side and in control. So you don't have to fight for anything. You don't have to force anything. It's just going to fall into place. And this is reaching a milestone. So you're closing out chapters here, uh, cycles here in your life that no longer serve you. You're going to the next level. You're self-actualizing. This is beautiful. What's at the bottom? The Nine of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, some of you worry a lot about money, but you've already made some kind of sound investment that will pay off. Taurus, Capricorn, and Gemini energy. Some of you could be rethinking something. Well, this could be somebody in your energy. Yeah, I'm seeing somebody want to reach out to you. The Knight of Swords, the Page of Wands, and here you are. Empress. Somebody wants to talk to you. An air sign, a uh, fire sign, possibly an earth sign. 
It could be any sign, y'all. Let's get some advice. Don't be surprised if somebody reaches out to you. So we have better alone than in bad company. Ooh, so who have you cut off here? We have dopamine, dopa go. So that could be a Sagittarius person for some of you. This is somebody that likes that thrill of the chase. Also, some of you are seizing the moment. Some of you are in the Knight of Swords. Some of you are fearless and brave and going after something here. I don't know what it is. And we have, it's not the end. It's only the beginning. So again, a new chapter. You might be closing one, but there's a new chapter starting. I deserve abundance. And I see abundance here with the Ten of Pentacles. Again, some of you, this is your birthright. And not necessarily because it runs in your family. It's just something that Spirit is saying is for you. Okay, y'all. That's where we're going to leave it. Like the video, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And I will see you all next time. Peace, Taurus.